All right, we have Geb versus Hera. We are exactly halfway. Oh, hold on. Geb's talking a lot. We're exactly halfway through the Guardian Gauntlet. And we're on Gabarino. Geb's one of my favorite Guardians. Uh, he's not one of the best, but like in Duel, but he's one of my favorites because of his auto attacks. I think we'll go up Link. Okay, so one thing is that since I made my last uh, Geb full gameplay on YouTube, I've been playing him a lot on Twitch, and I've recently been going Hunter's Blessing on him, and it seems to work really well. Geb does not do well into long-range mages, uh, but at least she's squishy, so that's that's good. So it's not a great matchup, but not the worst one, you know? That's how a lot of these matchups seem to be. So, Hunter's Blessing are actually pretty good on Geb, as his auto attacks are the best part about him. Okay, good. Went past her. Should be able to clear these minions super fast. Geb's 1 does more damage the more charged up it is, and his 2 does more damage the closer you are to his targets. So that's good. Try and get some poke damage here. I don't know if she got her shield or not. She slowed. Wait for the slow to run out, then use my 2. Good stuff. Yeah, I would say Geb is all about CC chaining. So I, w I slowed her, just kept auto attacking her, and then once the slow ran out, that's when I wanted to knock her up. Because she didn't have any other choice, you know? And using abilities right after auto attacks as well. I would say Geb and Fafnir are probably the funnest to watch in Duel. It's because the the way they use their abilities and auto attacks. Well, Fafnir not auto attacks, but Geb abilities and auto attacks. Let's go. Alright, well, the reason I went blink as well is that when Hera, like late game or mid game or even early game, when Hera uses her two, the most effective way of like killing her is blinking over the two and just attacking her because her two is her only form of CC or peel except for her ultimate. And if you blink over that ability, she all of a sudden is kind of a sitting duck. She has her shield, but that's not really going to stop me from shredding through her combo. Also, another good item I've realized that's good against Hera is Rod of Tootie because if Hera's below 50% health and she uses that shield. She's still below 50% health and Rav 2D passive still applies to her. Okay, she went speedy boots. Uh, that's bad for me. I don't know if I'll go speedy boots, but I might have to. I don't like getting speedy boots on Geb. She has a lot of movement speed. So close. Oh, I'm getting that minions. That's okay. Uh, that's actually not okay because I miss out on a lot of minions there. Ooh, if only I had my full Bancrofts, I would have killed her without dying. That's alright. As you can see, my all of my damage is coming from auto attacks. If you try to play Gab and you're not doing auto attacks between abilities, I don't think you can actually... I don't think you can win. That's like the best part about him in Duel. Get auto attacks. We're about halfway stacking our Warriors Blessing. That's good. Oops, I missed her. Very hard ability to hit. Let's get the timer for her for the blue buff. Okay. Uh, should I go speedy boots? This wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. Alright, she slowed. Got half her health, nice. I can kill her in 17 seconds, since she does not have blink. I mean, she doesn't have beats. Beats. <laughs> I just blink on her ult. I don't think she should be able to do anything. Oh. Hold on. No. I'm not going to try and kill her. 
Like I could have used my two into my alt, but that's not as effective as using my alt first. She has a lot of damage for not having like any power. She has 65 power. Yeah, with Hera passive, her ultimate comes up a little bit earlier. I can kill her next engagement now. Oh, is she still here? I hear you. Yeah, you're still here. Too bad I used my two on the wave. Still might try to kill you though. She's gonna use her two, we're gonna link over it. There we go! So she was actually focusing the wave, not me, but still, it worked out. So I alter. CC, so CC chaining, you don't want to use your two right away. You wait for the ultimate to run out and then use your two. Because that's the way to extend CC the longest amount. I wonder if she'll come this way or if she'll go to wave. Nice. Very nice, very nice. Stole her buff. We are a level ahead. This matchup, Herod has an extremely strong late game though. So, I don't know what I'll have to do. Polly's a must in this game. Uh, late, of course. Polly late. Soul Reaver, maybe. Depending on what she builds. Also, you may no notice I'm putting more points in my 3 rather than my 1. It just lets me box easier. Damage isn't always best. You know, I need my 3 to absorb a lot of her damage. Now I have upgraded Hunter's Blessing. I can really just chunk her. She has her shield. She'll be fine. Yeah. I didn't really have any kill potential there. The worst part about fighting Hera as a Guardian is killing Argus is nearly impossible. So you either gotta try and run away or try and commit on Hera. That's, it's one reason why going... Uh, Going auto attack Geb will help us. I'm going Void Stone because I plan on going Demonic. And Void Stone applies after Demonic Grip, which gives us a ton of pen. Alright, at least I have buff control besides red buff right now. Might be able to kill her again. I just gotta get her poked out. Alright. Consider her poked out. Now we just gotta blink on her and wombo combo. Wombo combo her. She does have bracer. That shouldn't be able to stop us. Oh, well. I waited too long on that and now I'm dead. Ah, uh, maybe not. Either way, I lose red buff, though. Oh, I missed my two... My two hits for, like, almost 500. How much health does she have? Yeah. Yeah, I would have been able to kill her. Okay, another good relic against Terra Beads. She will use her two at all, crucial times almost always. And being able to cleanse it and cleanse it slow... Just kind of stops her from being able, being able to do anything. Okay, we are three and three. This is a really even matchup. Harris shield gets so strong late game. That's what I'm worried about. She got divine ruin. Okay, fine with that. I'm not really healing that much. Wait, whatever you say. Yeah, look, I cannot kill Argus. This is... Hera's pretty dumb. <laughs> you can't run away, you can't kill him. Yeah. It's not the worst matchup, but Argus is really good against Guardians. Ooh, I need to get that Demonic Grip online. She doesn't even have defense yet. Like, think about how much damage she's mitigating and just not taking. And she doesn't even have defense. 
It's kind of scary. Is she back already? I guess she did. Oh, why is Argus so strong? Hera shield and Argus is what's going to be our problem. Okay, what defense item did you get? You gain void zone too? Okay, I'm fine with that. Wow, she hurts. I hate that she went traveler shoes. That's actually just so good. Gives her just enough mobility to give me issues. She'll still have more movement speed, I think, once we get demonic grip. Or we'll, we'll have equal amount of movement speed about. I'll probably have a little bit less just because Geb movement speed is slower than Harrow's. Geb is quite a bit slower. And the reason for that is Geb has a lot of mobility with his one. Getting these timers. If only there was an easier way to kill Argus. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, well I got her beads. <laughs> Wow, she is really annoying with those speedy boots. I'm probably going to go Telkines this game as well. That'll help us kill Argus. I think it's worth. I never use these mana potions either. Usually I do. Kind of need wards because she's going to take Bull Demon pretty soon. But I don't know how soon is a problem. Oh, well, I guess she's taking it right now. Right. Nice. Just happened to catch her out. That's good. Let's take her blue buff real quick, and then we'll take, uh... Then we'll take her tower, or at least try to. I'm not going to pick up that buff because I don't want her to get the timer when she comes back. Yeah, if the if the buff is still on the ground and they walk over it, they don't get the timer. Which is pretty nice. Might not actually get this tower. But get a decent amount of it. Like, I'm not going to commit to it. Looks like she's going Corona's Pennant. That is going to be so bad for me. Crow's Pendant's gonna can be a nail in my coffin. Arrow with max cooldown is terrifying. At least I have more movement speed than her, finally, I think. One thing I miss is that in Smite, you used to be able to hover over one of these tabs, and it would show how much movement speed you had or your opponent had, and you can't do that anymore. I wish that that was still a thing. It was super helpful. She's so incredibly fast. Okay, well that's half my health. Can you stop? Yeah, if she's just gonna drop Argus at me when I'm like pretty much full health, I'm just gonna re recall, you know? That's kind of on her. Red buff's almost up as well, which is good. Maybe I shouldn't have used that too. I didn't get it. Okay. Uh, I missed out on all these buffs. I mean, on all those minions. Missed out on all of those minions. Dang. Oh, this is difficult. 
Ah, uh, Harris in late game. I don't even have tower yet. I need a lot more gold. That shield is so strong. I cannot get like any damage. Okay. I might need some anti-heal myself for her bracer plus bankrofts. I see Hera's shield is way better than Geb's shield in this. Because Geb's shield is meant for like a team game mode, right? But Hera's shield is only on herself, so it gives way more stuff. It gives movement speed. The shield itself, I think, is larger. Uh, why am I lagging? Okay, I have 52 ping. I shouldn't be lagging. Where's Argus? We're not gonna drop Argus? I'm just trying to get her to waste her Argus like that as much as I can. Argus is still targeting me. He's still targeting me. Still targeting me. All right. Got some telekines, so I might actually be able to kill Argus now. Might be able to kill her with a blink. Maybe. Nice! Nicely done. I had to outweigh her beats to make sure to... I had to outweigh her beats to make sure to knock her up. That's a little bit scary. Since Argus was still alive, he was just... Just hammering away at me. She is going to get her Cronus Pennant now, which is really bad for me. But I might be able to get her Phoenix. If we get her Phoenix, then we can start focusing Titan a little bit. Or at least poking it out. We can poke out Titan and... Only use our escape when her two is down. Look at this attack speed. Might have, might not even need Pollen Alcon. Oh, she's still chasing. That's fine. Okay, is Red up yet? I would really love a Red buff right now. Yes, it is. Very important that we get this before her. Yeah, she did get her Chronos Pendant. That's fine. Okay, last item we get Toxic Blade for Anti-Heal. Or we could get Holly. Gonna go with Toxic Blade because she does not have that many protections. And we kind of need to deal with her Bracer. She hasn't been using her Bracer very often. But, you know, one, one good Bracer and we can lose. Wait for the... And? No, my god. Are you kidding me? Yeah, Toxic Blade was the right choice. She could barely mitigate any damage there. Yeah, so I ulted, waited for this stun to run out, used my two. She could not do anything. It was over. I also used my ultimate for CC immunity against her too. So even better. Wow, what a way to end this game. I'm really happy with that. Telekines is hitting for like 52 a pop. Look at how much it's adding up to. Telkine's hit for 830 and my auto hit for 2,600. I was getting worried there towards the end. But once we got, you know, Void void plus Toxic Blade, that's 30 pen. And Demonic shreds her protections by 36%. You know, she has nothing left. That's pretty good. GG well played. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, see you guys next time.